good after Recon here with Tech Out. Today I wanted to show you guys Android P on my OnePlus 6. I've done a video on this in the past. It was a DP2 uh, Developer Preview 2 video. Um, this is still the same software version, the Developer Preview 2, which is um, a little bit later than what was released because OnePlus had to build their Oxygen OS software into it. Um, so we're about one build behind what the actual Android uh, Developer Previews are at right now. Developer Preview 4 came out, so the next update we see for the OnePlus uh, 6 will be based on Developer Preview 3. Um, so we are one preview behind, so some of the features um, that are available to like the Pixel and stuff like that are not available to the OnePlus 6 yet. But so far, it has been an incredibly stable build. Everything is working. We have the new Android P um, pull-down shade here. We have the Android P notifications. We have Android P features. We have our... Um, gestures back if you want to enable those those can be enabled um, only issue I have right now are a couple bugs with things like do not disturb um, if I enable this there is an option where you can have notifications not appear so when you have do, uh, do not disturb enabled you can have uh, where it says no, notif no notifications here it will change to do not disturb is blocking notifications so you can actually have the shade not show notifications as well that is not working in this build um, it will not let me change it you cannot actually enable that it's stuck on show, notif uh, show notifications silently so they still will pop up that is one issue that has not yet been resolved hopefully in the next update we do see uh, the ability to use that feature face unlock is now working again uh, in the first developer preview that OnePlus had that was not working um, there were also, so also some issues with voice over LTE um, I don't have my SIM card in here right now, but if I did, we would have voice over LTE enabled, which is very important for most of the carriers that support the OnePlus 6, such as T-Mobile and AT&T, especially T-Mobile because they do use voice over LTE um, mainly for their service since their LTE signals are a lot stronger than their GSM signals if you have to drop down to that to make a call or something like that. So that working is a very important feature. Only other bug we have right now is Bluetooth. It will connect, but you cannot play audio over Bluetooth right now. I don't know exactly what's causing that issue, um, but it is a widespread issue. Everybody's having the same problem. They can connect Bluetooth headphones or a Bluetooth stereo or their car's Bluetooth radio, and it's not playing audio through Bluetooth. Um, so that does exist right now. Everything else is pretty good. It's very smooth. It does not stutter. Um, there is no lag, nothing like that that you would expect on a developer preview. The fingerprint sensor works great, if I can find it, there we go, um, works great, no issues, no lag. Um, like I said, face unlock would work great if I was not behind the camera, but I just unlocked it with my face, and you can see I will swipe it, we're in, uh, it unlocked with the face just fine. So there are no issues right now um, with any of that kind of stuff. Like I said, OnePlus's menu system is now back in, we're not um, on the weird looking uh, Android P default, you know, basic menu that you find on the Pixel. So all the OnePlus stuff is in here. We do have our theme um, and our notch display settings, which again, that is a bug. Like I said in my last video, if you change it, you'll get like a double notch kind of thing on the software. Um, the ambient display is in here. We don't have an always on display, but we do have the ambient display if you lift up the device. And then we also have our themes in here. So we have our light, dark, and default theme, and they all work. So we can change that back. We'll get the white menu here and we'll get the white pull down shade so all that is working that will also theme your uh, messages app if you stay in the default oneplus messages app it will theme that between dark and light based on your system theme which is pretty cool so in column with uh, tech out these are the um, features in developer preview 2 on the oneplus 6 right now i know i made a video of it um, before but this is after using it for a little bit of time um, so just what i've noticed speed and everything like that like i said is great so there's no issues there so everything's been running great. Hopefully next week we'll be seeing um, Developer Preview 3 or the update for the OnePlus 6 based on Developer Preview 3 at least. Like I said, Google did release Developer Preview 4 yesterday at the time of this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.